Can you believe that almonds can exfoliate your skin? And not just that, they can do it gently. If you have sensitive skin and struggle with exfoliation, don't miss today's content. Hey Westrenders, it's Yunha. Are you all using exfoliants? Most people use AHA, BHA, or even PHA, right? They work fast, but if used incorrectly, they can make your skin even more sensitive. But did you know that there is an AHA that works gently while also improving skin tone? It's called mandelic acid. It's an AHA, but it's much less irritating. And get this, it even helps protect your skin barrier. Sounds amazing, right? Today, we're diving deep into the science of AHAs, how they work, what makes mandelic acid special, and how to use it effectively based on different skin concerns. Let's get started! AHA, which is alpha hydroxyl acid, is a water-soluble chemical exfoliant that works by weakening the desmosome, the adhesive structure between dead skin cells and the stratum corneum. This allows dead skin cells to shed more easily and gently. When AHA is absorbed into the skin, it weakens a bonding protein called desmoglein, loosening the connections between cells in the stratum corneum. It also speeds up the natural shedding process of the epidermis, helping to regulate the skin's turnover cycle. That's why AHA not only exfoliates, but also improves skin texture and brightness. Since AHA mainly works on the epidermis, it is commonly used for hyperpigmentation, rough skin texture, and fine lines. Additionally, AHA helps maintain a healthy skin barrier by keeping the skin's oxidative pH at around 3 to 4. There are the three major types of AHA, which is glycolic acid, lactic acid, and mandelic acid. Let's break them down one by one. First, glycolic acid. Glycolic acid has the smallest molecular size among the three at 76.05 gram per mole, which allows it to penetrate deeply into the skin. It reaches the lower epidermal layers, making it highly effective at promoting cell turnover. However, because it's absorbed so quickly, it can be irritating and increase UV sensitivity, so sunscreen is a must when using it. Second, lactic acid. Lactic acid is larger than glycolic acid with a molecular weight of 90.08 gram per mole. It penetrates more slowly, making it less irritating. One key benefit of lactic acid is that it is a natural moisturizing factor, meaning it not only exfoliates but also enhances the skin's ability to retain moisture. This is because lactic acid contains a hydroxyl group that attracts water, providing a hydrating effect while helping to balance the skin's pH. However, lower concentrations may work more slowly, and just like other AHAs, it increases sun sensitivity, so sunscreen is essential. Third, mandelic acid. Mandelic acid's chemical name is an alpha hydroxyphenylacetic acid, and its name comes from the German word Mendel, meaning almond. This is because mandelic acid was first derived from bitter almond, derived from aldehyde through oxidation and reaction processes. Mandelic acid has the largest molecular size of the three at 152.15 gram per mole, nearly twice the size of glycolic acid. Because of its larger size, it penetrates the skin more slowly, making it gentler and less irritating. Unlike other AHAs, mandelic acid is both water-soluble and oil-soluble, meaning it can also work on the pores, making it an excellent ingredient for various skin concerns. To make it easier to understand, I've prepared a comparison chart for you. I'll show it on the next slide, so get ready to take a screenshot. Next up is mandelic acid. How exactly does it work on the skin? We know it has a larger molecular size, absorbs slowly, and causes less irritation. But how does it actually exfoliate the skin? I knew you'd be curious. Let me walk you through it step by step. Mandelic acid works by loosening the bones between the dead skin cells, allowing them to shed more easily. 
At the same time, it promotes cell regeneration in the epidermis, helping to smooth skin texture. Since it speeds up the skin's natural turnover cycle, it also helps remove melanin-rich cells faster, making it effective in improving post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, or PIH. While it doesn't penetrate deeply into the dermis, it still aids in reducing fine lines by stimulating epidermal renewal. One unique feature of mandelic acid is its antibacterial properties. It has been shown to be effective against propionic bacterium acne, the bacteria responsible for acne, making it beneficial for troubled skin. Additionally, its high pKa makes it less irritating and relatively safe even for sensitive skin. Now that we've explored how mandelic acid works, isn't it fascinating that it does much more than just exfoliation? Let's dive into the ingredient list of our mandelic acid product and I'll take a closer look at its key components and functions. The product we're introducing today is the Mandelic Acid Gentle Exfoliation Toner from BioWishTrend. BioWishTrend already had an exfoliating toner featuring mandelic acid, but this is the newly renewed version. The packaging and the product name have changed and the volume has increased by 30 milliliters, but the formula remains exactly the same. So, if you've been using the previous version, there's no need to worry. You can focus on analyzing the product itself. First, the texture is quite watery. It flows like a liquid, making it easy to apply. The key active ingredients include mandelic acid, beta-glucan, sodium hyaluronate, centella extract, licorice root extract, and hotonia cordata extract. We've already talked a lot about mandelic acid. It's the main exfoliating ingredient that not only removes dead skin cells, but also helps regulate sebum production inside the pores. Next, we have beta-glucan and sodium hyaluronate, both of which play a role in moisturizing the skin. Beta-glucan forms a protective moisture barrier on the skin's surface, preventing water loss and soothing irritation caused by AHA exfoliation. Sodium hyaluronate is a low molecular weight form of hyaluronic acid, allowing for better absorption and deeper hydration in the skin's dermis. Since exfoliation can sometimes leave the skin feeling tight or dry, sodium hyaluronate helps prevent the uncomfortable feeling, ensuring the skin stays hydrated even after exfoliation. This careful formulation shows that the product isn't just about exfoliation. It's designed to take care of the skin afterward as well. Then, there are Centella Asiatica extract, licorice root extract, and Hotonia cordata extract, which are all plant-derived calming ingredients that help soothe the skin. They reduce irritation and replenish moisture, making them great for post-exfoliation care. Many people are familiar with Centella Asiatica extract, but the other two might be less well-known. Just remember that if you see these ingredients on the list, they contribute to soothing and calming the skin. You can apply the Mandelic Acid Gentle Exfoliation Toner in two ways. First, after cleansing, take an appropriate amount and gently pat it into the skin for absorption. Alternatively, soak a cotton pad with the toner and wipe it across the skin following the natural texture. The cotton pad method is particularly useful for targeted exfoliation. Now, how should you use it based on the skin type? Let's find out. We've organized the recommended uses based on the different skin types. First, dry skin. For dry skin, it's best to use this toner along with a moisturizer. Since exfoliation can sometimes leave the skin feeling dry, following up with a gentle hydrating product will help maintain the skin moisture and prevent tightness. Second, oily and acne prone skin. Oily and acne prone skin types can benefit greatly from mandelic acid's antibacterial properties. It helps regulate excess sebum production, making it a great addition to a regular toner step. Since oily skin tends to produce more sebum, using a lightweight, 
gel type moisturizer after exfoliating can help maintain balance without feeling greasy. Third, sensitive skin. Even though mandelic acid is gentler compared to the other axis, exfoliation still introduces some level of irritation to the skin. Even though mandelic acid is gentler compared to other axes, exfoliation still introduces some level of irritation to the skin. For sensitive skin, it's best to limit uses to two to three times a week rather than using it daily. This allows the skin to adjust and prevent potential irritation. Fourth, hyperpigmentation and dark spots. If hyperpigmentation is concerned, consider pairing this toner with a vitamin C serum in your skincare routine. Mandelic acid and vitamin C work well together, enhancing each other's brightening effects. However, since both ingredients are acidic, they should only be used at night to prevent sensitivity. And don't forget, sun protection is a must the next morning to protect your skin from UV damage. Then, here are some important precautions when using mandelic acid. This applies to all skin types, so make sure to pay attention. First, avoid using it with other strong AHAs like glycolic acid at the same time. Using multiple exfoliating acids together can cause excessive irritation and sensitivity. I know some of you might think, wouldn't I get faster results if I use both? But Actually, this can damage your skin barrier and make it more prone to irritation. So, if you're using an AHA, stick to just one type at a time. Next, if you're using retinoids or vitamin C, make sure to apply them at night and always wear sunscreen during the day. These ingredients can work synergistically, but they also make your skin more sensitive to UV rays. So, I'm reminding you once again, never skip sunscreen. I always emphasize this, but wearing sunscreen is non-negotiable if you want healthy skin. By the way, I'll be talking about sunscreen in an upcoming video. So, if you're curious about sunscreen recommendations, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss it. Lastly, before using mandelic acid, always do a patch test first. Even though mandelic acid is known to be gentle and suitable for sensitive skin, it's still an exfoliating ingredient. To avoid unexpected irritation, start using it twice a week, then gradually increase the frequency as your skin adjusts. Today, we talked about mandelic acid, a type of AHA that's gentle on the skin, helps with exfoliation, improves skin tone, and even protects the skin barrier. Was this helpful for you? If you have any more questions about exfoliation, feel free to leave a comment. Our Wishtrend TV team will be happy to answer them for you. I'll be back next time with more skin science and beneficial ingredients. Bye Wishtrenders!